What is it? Some sort of energy field. Be careful, Rambo. Captain Rambo. Watch it. Tomorrow, nothing can prepare you. Wanda, can you read me? Who's doing the scene? For what's next. Wanda. 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 Okay, Marvel, good. Disney Plus, first series, WandaVision, excellent. Paul and Lizzie, my friends, you are so good in this. It's a hard enough ask to bring off that concept, let alone to riddle it with all the excitement that all us fans are waiting for to see what happened to Wanda next and why on earth we're watching sitcoms to find out over the generations they appeared on the television in America. But you do all of it in one fell swoop, and it is addictive television. I've only seen five. I've got to rush this message in order to see the rest of them. Fans, don't start watching tonight unless you want to have a sleepless night. If that's possible, I don't know. I don't. Well, yeah. Welcome back everyone, this is going to be my new WandaVision video, Marvel just dropped a bunch of new footage, Paul Bettany also just dropped a clip talking about a really big Avengers crossover that I think is Doctor Strange, so I'll explain what's going on with that too, because we know that we're going to cross over with Doctor Strange too, so there's a lot of people expecting a Benedict Cumberbatch cameo scene during the series. I'm doing videos for all of the episodes, so be sure to subscribe to get everything. We're doing a Disney Plus giveaway for memberships. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and post all your theories about what's going on inside WandaVision. Careful for spoilers for everything that's happened so far. I'll talk about the footage in just a second. This is that clip of Paul Bettany where I believe that he's talking about Benedict Cumberbatch coming on the show as Doctor Strange. I think they're going to be massively surprised by the end of the show. Oh my God, and they're going to look at the MCU in a whole new light and also have a much deeper understanding about w in what direction it's moving. Um, I would also say that, you know, so many things get leaked and, and people find out about certain things, but there's this thing that's been kept completely under wraps that is that happens. And I work with this actor that I have... have fireworks together and uh, the, the scenes are great and uh, I think people would be really excited. Uh, I've, I've always wanted to work with this guy and uh, it's pretty, the scenes are pretty intense. There's some gossip that I'm probably, I probably shouldn't have told you and I'm going to probably get a call from Marvel security saying, why the hell did you say that? Uh, but I did and, um, and there it is. So during that, he's just talking about an actor that he's always wanted to work with. You keep in mind that Vision has never had scenes with Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange character. That was his big thing during this clip, working with an actor that he's never had the chance to work with before. Even though technically they're both Marvel actors, they were both in Avengers Infinity War, Vision and Doctor Strange never were together during that movie, so technically they never did work together. And what he's talking about is this big Avengers level movie event that's going to be happening towards the end of the series. I'll address that too, but I also believe that the Agnes character is another big Doctor Strange connection to those movies and what's happening during Doctor Strange too, because of some of the footage that we see during this trailer. So during these new scenes from episode 4 and beyond, some of this footage is from later episodes too, but during the scenes Monica Rambeau, before the events of episode 2, in her normal sword gear, approaches the barrier to Westview, Scarlet Witch's alternate reality, before they really know what it is or how it will affect them, she touches it, it crackles like the static shock effect that you used to get from CRT TVs. Jimmy Woo yells at her to be careful because it looks like she's about to accidentally fall into a TV show literally and metaphorically because of the way things work inside this MCU House of M reality. Jimmy Woo also calls her Captain Rambo, meaning that she's probably come up through the military like the Air Force before joining S.W.O.R.D. just like her mother was in the Air Force with Captain Marvel. There was the other trailer footage where it seems like she's the one wearing that red helmet and it kind of seems like her mother's helmet a little bit. You remember that her mother was an Air Force pilot. Her call sign was Photon, which was a big Easter egg for her daughter, Monica Rambeau's comic book name, or one of her comic book names, after she was a version of Captain Marvel. When she debuted for the first time, Monica Rambeau was called Captain Marvel. It's just that her costume looked like this. And actually, when they first announced Tayona Paris, she's the actress playing Monica Rambeau, and she came on stage during Comic-Con. The outfit that she was wearing had these giant sleeves, which was meant to be a bit of a reference to her comic book Captain Marvel costume with the giant sleeves. But notice the town of Westview from outside the barrier looks like a totally normal town, like it normally would on any given day. It's only once you travel inside that everything turns into the sitcom Decades of TV. 
Like you see Scarlet Witch driving into town in that car and everything turns on like a TV set is turning on as if that's her activating this sort of bubble of reality, this simulation, like a matrix, however you want to think about it. And if it wasn't clear, they also reveal in the other footage here that this is all happening in a New Jersey town. That's where Westview is because we're meant to be relatively close to New York City, upstate New York, where the old Avengers base was. So it seems like Scarlet Witch just came here to this normal town of Westview like, oh, I'm going to go try and live out this life with vision, whatever plan that she developed with whatever help she had doing it. And she just arbitrarily picked this town that seemed like a totally normal, quiet place. Like, OK, nobody will mind if I do this here. But before she showed up, this was just a totally normal town. And these were all the normal townspeople, with the exception of Agnes. I'll explain that in a second, too. There's some clues in that big board of IDs that you see during the trailer. Right now, it just seems like Vision is the only one inside this town that has no idea what's going on. And every time he does get a little idea, Scarlet Witch blips him back, so to speak, to make another Avengers reference. And in this other footage, you see Darcy from the Thor movies, the other sword agents that have files on all the different townspeople. The funny thing here, though, is that Agnes is the only one with no photo ID. I know you don't see Dottie on the board here or some of the other townspeople. That's probably just because this frame, the way they frame the shot here, cuts off a lot of the other board. So the other people of the town are probably just off the edges of the frame here. Then you see Jimmy Woo on the other end of that scene from episode two trying to contact Scarlet Witch. Wanda, Wanda, can you read me? Who's doing this to you? I think this is just meant to give you a sense for the timeline of the show. Like this is playing out over a very small number of days very quickly. They confirm my theory that it's Darcy who was watching the Nick at Night style video feed from inside the town on the TVs. She was the person from the end of episode one at the bank of monitors and TV equipment. You also notice that the TV that she's watching here in this scene when it's the events of episode three, her little TV set has changed to a 1970s looking TV set. It's different from the TV set during episode one. She's watching this from outside the barrier inside these sword based tents. So this might have something to do with its connection, like the way that they're actually feeding the video to the TV from inside the barrier. It's also more evidence that the fake things that Scarlet Witch creates or changes inside the barrier can survive in the normal MCU dimension. That's just all in service of her children, Billy and Tommy, Wiccan and Speed, surviving after the events of WandaVision. The thing about Agnes here, though, on this board here, the fact that she doesn't have any photo ID, they don't know who she is, and she doesn't have a last name either, unlike the other townspeople. It's all probably because as Agatha Harkness, we believe she's really Agatha Harkness. Agnes is just a fake name that she's using. She's a magic user, just like Doctor Strange. So now we're talking about more Doctor Strange 2 connections. She would be powerful enough at least to defend herself or protect herself a little bit against the effects of what Scarlet Witch is doing, warping reality like this. And you keep in mind that it seems like Agnes or Agatha Harkness has been manipulating Scarlet Witch since the very beginning of episode one, way before we see Monica Rambeau and Jimmy Woo step up and her sneak in during the events of episode two. Even during Agnes's first scene in episode one, some of the dialogue she has and the references she makes makes it seem like she knows all about Scarlet Witch's powers and the secrets of what's really going on. So early theory, she probably had something to do with manipulating Scarlet Witch before the events of episode one and maybe even gave her the idea or helped her create this alternate reality. So she had to have gotten some help from someone or something talking about more big cosmic Easter eggs. Everyone's still hoping for Mephisto references. It could be Nightmare, it could be Mephisto, it just seems like there is something more cosmic at play here, something more connected to the Doctor Strange mythology. I know there was the marquee Easter egg where it says Big Red and Kidnapped on it in the background in town. People wondered if that was a Mephisto reference. Big Red, I believe, is a reference to Scarlet Witch herself. But it is more of the townspeople sort of trying to let other people outside the reality, like the sword agents, know that they're trapped in here. Like, we've been kidnapped by Big Red by Scarlet Witch. I just did a big video about S.W.O.R.D. during Marvel Phase 4 and what's going on with them during the events of WandaVision, where they've been this whole time, why Nick Fury waited this long to roll them out, so I'll link that below in the video description. There'll be bigger S.W.O.R.D. stuff happening all across Marvel Phase 4. They're like the new version of S.H.I.E.L.D. and you remember how S.H.I.E.L.D. popped up a lot during Marvel Phase 1, Phase 2, until Captain America Winter Soldier and they sort of blew it up from the inside. And earlier, Paul Bettany was talking about how the series would go from the sitcom decades up to a big Avengers level movie by the final episodes. That's probably what he's talking about when he talks about big battle scenes and the big actor he's always wanted to have scenes with and them having big action scenes together that we believe now is probably Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch. 
He also did a live stream with the cast. It was a little bit funny. He was just being silly with them. But because Elizabeth Olsen is going to be in Doctor Strange 2 next, he was helping them hype up the launch of WandaVision. So no surprise that they would also try and then bring him in for the last couple of episodes. Early Theory 2, another big Doctor Strange 2 crossover connection. Scarlet Witch's children survive the events of the finale. What happens to them immediately after WandaVision? Well, they would probably go to some place like Kamar Taj where they could help be raised and learn about their powers without hurting anyone else. It would also explain when the events of Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness pick up why Scarlet Witch is in such close proximity to Doctor Strange. Because she's literally in a safe place where he put her raising her children. But everyone posts all your theories about Doctor Strange crossing over with WandaVision in Benedict Cumberbatch. My full episode 4 video is going to post Friday just like normal so make sure you have alerts enabled for my channel so you don't miss it. Congratulations Navi, you're the giveaway winner from my last big WandaVision video. Please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your contact details. Everyone click here for all my WandaVision episode videos and click here for that brand new Godzilla vs Kong trailer. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.